Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much, uh, Christian, for the introduction. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce here the implementation and development of our uh, Zodiac uh, Terminal Operating System in this multi-purpose uh, terminal that DP World has uh, taken from a private uh, port which used to be managed by the government that took place in January 2017, almost four years ago. I'll take you through the slide and I'll just give you an overall updates on and, and, and highlights of our uh, success story here. The Zodiac has started here and uh, we started discussing about the implementation of it in the last uh, couple of months, that goes almost to a year. Discussion was about to introduce new features, uh, minimize the manual work load that has been captured here, whereas a lot of the activities on the ground used to be done manually, paperwork, tally sheets, submission of uh, documents, waiting for the shift to complete, so an individuals can take the data and install it manually to the system. Zodiac came with a lot of features mm -hmm. that allowed us to have a very simplified uh, WebExes that give us an exposure to see the whole business uh, uh, activities. I could access today the system from any part of the world, either I'm in Limassol, I'm in London, or I'm in Dubai. I should be able to get into the system, see the activities real time, and have an overall abilities to perform and also uh, engage with the actual activities. The features and the overall uh, functions that are available today that goes from cargo operations, yard, gate operations, multi other activities within the port made it more easier and faster to consider Zodiac as the right uh, component for the business here. Whereas in most, in most of the other activities or other businesses, we do have an individual standalone business when it comes to a general cargo modules, and then you have another container terminal modules, and then sometimes you have even Aurora modules for some activities. So here we have one platform capturing everything under one single window. Real-time uh, activities, while we are having the tally clerk or the foreman's on the key or in the yard, we have a direct integrations uh, uh, information passing through using a, a simple platform of an iPad or a mobile app whereas the individuals are already on the system, so all the activities being moved, being registered automatically through a click on the tablets, which allowed us to capture the information and have a full cargo operation on, on a timely manner. And it also allowed us to synchronize with the port community system that is already established here in Cyprus and Limassol, which made an overall information uh, synchronization in terms of cargo manifest, cargo details to be more directly connected with our tools. So it's a lot of uh, improvements and it has removed a lot of uh, manual uh, tasks that used to be done in the past. Some of the areas that are already being captured is the vessel cargo operations. So it captured today uh, the container activities here, the general cargo, either as a dry bulk or bulk cargos the roar operations, which is car discharge, car loading, uh, or either trailers or chases. So it meets exactly our requirements. It fits into each and every part of the business activities. It goes from the ship side to the yard, to the gate operation, and it allows us to maneuver and understand the overall uh, business activities. It also gives us an additional feature such as inspection and discrepancy. So while we are discharging goods or while we are delivering cargos, the platform or the tablets that are being handed over to the individuals is able to capture pictures, capture the damages, either you have a container, side, side doors damage, the floor, the ceilings, or if you have a car and there are scratches on the car or you have a dent on the car, it allows you to capture it from the system, take a picture, snap, it's already in the platform, it can be shared with the client, it can be shared with the customs, it can be shared for any insurance liabilities. So everything become more controlled, synchronized, and everything there, you don't have to do any paperwork, no required for any kind of uh, time to, to waste while you are trying to deliver or handle goods. 
it's a cloud-based uh, terminal operating system. And of course, uh, I'm proudly to say that uh, DPO Dimasol have achieved uh, the first cloud-based terminal operating system within the group. And sooner it's going to be also moving forward, forward to the to the rest of the of the business units. It allows us to have accessibilities uh, in terms of being able to access the system. We don't have to have the software downloaded on a on tablet or on, on a particular computer. Wherever we are, we are able to access the system. Maintenance-wise, we don't have to worry about uh, server issues here. We don't have to worry about investment into hardware or software. Everything in the cloud is being maintained, it's been secured, and it can give us more less issues in terms of worrying about other defects. Compatibility and upgrades, all the all regular upgrade, version upgrade, which used to be in the past done locally on the hardware, on the hard drive, now it's been all done remotely. So basically we are free uh, from any concern about what are the new version, what are the new upgrades, it's all being taken away from us. Deployment is very easy to deploy when it comes to new users. If I have a new user, I don't have to go through a lot of uh, exercise and all. The system allows us to log in, log out, so as long as you have an internet, you are basically easy to get in. And that's that's the, that's the requirement today compared to the old practices where you have to have the software installed and you have to have an access to the system and so forth. Scalability is of course, and reliability that goes more to, we can always upgrade uh, the system. There are lots of features where we can simply say, we would like to activate uh, real time uh, real time uh, uh, activities uh, features or uh, auto gate automation features and accordingly it's there we just need to do the mapping and uh, accordingly the whole thing gets into the the, the whole uh, business environment disaster recovery of course is very important whereas we don't have to be concerned about having the drives to be uh, maintained uh, or every three or four years we have to change the server change the hard drive it's been all done uh, on the cloud, uh, we have free access. If I lose the tablet or if I, leave, I, if I lose my computer today, it doesn't make any differences because everything has been reserved and everything being already registered on the server. It's, it makes us more easier to get the whole data back from the cloud as and when required. Of course, this is more or less, I would say, the phase one of the, of the project. We're still looking at uh, moving forward vehicle booking system. We are looking at auto get uh, of, of the say of, of, of auto gate system which allows us also to interact with gate operations we are looking at also the billing synchronization which will come also very soon which will reduce all the billing practices that are today being done manually so zodiac kind of published all the cargo movements to this to the billing modules and accordingly invoices and uh, accounts will be generated to the particular individual either they are a shipping lines or cargo owner and so forth. Passenger movements, that are also something that we are working on, then we will be looking at it since DPO at Limassol is also looking at cruise ships and cruise businesses. Passengers is very important for us and we'll be enrolling it in the near future so we can have a full activities to capture everything moving in and out within our businesses. Uh, in general, uh, we are very much satisfied uh, with the system. Uh, we look forward for also keep introducing the next features that will allow us also to minimize uh, the overall manual interaction and keep focusing on delivering high quality service to our stakeholders, clients, and also our uh, port users. Thank you very much.